Good morning, everybody. Um, again, I look like a little bit of a mess. Um, I decided that it would be kind of fun to vlog today. Uh, just because we're doing, like, all Arlo stuff today because, um, it seems like I've been working a lot the past couple days. I've been sick. We haven't been getting too much training in. Um, so I decided that today we kind of needed to set aside for, like, really getting some training in, staying productive on that, and, and also, um, maybe getting some energy out because I have work tomorrow, too. I don't know if I have work the next two days or if I just have it tomorrow, but either way, we haven't been to the park in a while, so I thought that it would be kind of fun if we went over to the park, and one of my friends is coming into town, so we'll see if he's, um, if he's available, maybe we'll have a, a guest, um, on here today. Arlo is eating rice and his sup with his supplement for breakfast today because he had some, um, diarrhea last night, not too much, but I always want to, like, catch it quick before it becomes, like, a big issue because poodles have really, really sensitive stomachs, and if you don't, if you don't, like, take care of that, mm, it gets really bad. So, Arlo, I made Arlo some rice this morning and um, put his supplement on top of it. Stay. And um, I have not gotten dressed yet. I, like, woke up, I don't know, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> Um, I just ran down here, made rice, because I knew that Arlo was hungry, because it's late. It's like not, this is not the beginning of the day anymore for anyone. So, yeah. Bye. My roommate just left. Um, so we're just gonna put that in the dishwasher. And then I need to get dressed and do my makeup and make the bed and stuff um, before we go anywhere. And I think I'm going to call my friend that's coming in from out of town. because he, he lives like pretty far away. Like if you know how far away my trainers live, he lives, I think, an hour further than them. So I think it's like two hours. So I haven't seen him in months. Um, and I really I really want to spend, you know, some time with him today. So if he's available... Um, so I will probably call him and then, but like before we leave, because I don't want to leave and go anywhere and like start a training session, um, unless we know if he's like going to come meet up with us or not. Cause the thing is, is that would be really helpful to have someone else training with us today. Um, because we really need to work on Arlo's ability to, uh, Arlo's ability to, like, ignore distractions, like, actively ignore distractions. Um, so I think it would be really helpful if, if Christian came today. So I am going to text him, and I'm going to get ready, um, and then we will see what today brings. Like, like, like spin, spin some more bulls in it. Yeah. Hey, no. so we're at McDonald's. Yeah, we are at McDonald's. And Arlo is performing an okay talk. It's okay. It's not great. It's okay. Um, but we are gonna go um, train. Yeah. And training. then we're gonna go to the dog park, maybe if it's not like insanely windy, because it was really windy. It's really bad. Yeah, was it windy it was, at your driving? It was driving? snowing on my way here. <laughs> so like maybe dog. But it's park. not. It's not snowing here, and it's yeah, not it's not snowing either. here. So so that's that's it's a, a good little cloudy. Sign. Look at the clouds. The clouds are a little gray. I don't know. Yeah. But we just finished eating, so we're gonna head out. Yeah, for sure. Woo. That's like a partial tuck. It's pretty lame, dude. Your butt's like all the way out. Come on, there's so much room over there. Jesus. Okay, <laughs> we're at Fleet Farm. Yeah, what's up? We're gonna uh, train. Right? Maybe. Okay. Let's see, what should we drop? Look at this thing. Look at that. Oh. Good. 
So what I'm looking for is for him to focus on me instead of whatever toy it is that I'm holding or dropping in front of him. Watch me. Arlo. Hard to tell if he's like watching me or not. Probably. You, you can tell. Watch me. Arlo. Watch me. Watch me. Arlo. Okay, so we've been training for all of like, I don't know, six seconds. Yeah, totally. But basically, <laughs> yeah, totally. I know. Um, but basically, Arlo seems like, if, if you can't hear him, he's whining, um, and he had some diarrhea earlier, so it, maybe he's having like, maybe some stomach problems. We're probably going to head out, um, probably just going to go to the park, because honestly, he needs like enjoy himself a, a day bit. off he needs some energy gone so we'll go do that give me a motherfucking second what do you want what okay so, so we're gonna go fly a kite i guess yeah so we're not gonna go to the dog park anymore well we might still yeah but um we're gonna actually go up to uh, this conservancy behind my house because it's really windy and like it's the it's perfect so windy. it's the perfect day for it yeah and it's like not and like bad when's the anything? last time you flew a kite Gabby oh my god forever ago like I don't remember the last time I flew a kite yeah so we're gonna go up and fly a kite and Arlo's coming obviously because I can't yeah and then maybe we'll go to the dog park after that yeah and Arlo's not happy about it if you can tell he's I don't know. I think he just, he wants to get home because I think, so I think he has diarrhea. I don't know why. Um, it could be because recently he hasn't been finishing all of his food. Um, and the vets have been telling me that, that since he eats more of his training treats than he does of his food, it's kind of a, an imbalance. Like his food is a lot better for him if you guys don't know. So basically, I switched over. I'm gonna not use the training kibble that we had, um, and I'm gonna just just use his kibble for training. But the thing is, is I don't think he'll take that forever. So we're hopefully gonna switch him over to a new food soon. Um, hopefully, we're gonna switch him over to like one of the Costco brands, like Kirkland or something. Or you, if you can't tell, Arlo is just oh, oh poor dear. So um, yeah, he. I don't know. I think that he just needs, like, more of a balanced diet. Because with his training treats, like, they're not... They they weren't horrible for him originally. Like, he was doing fine on them when he used to eat all of his meals. But now, I think we train enough that he isn't hungry for his entire, like, food. His entire breakfast. And also, he grazes for breakfast or for dinner. Whichever one that we're at home for. So, just his whole fucking diet is, like, off-kilter right now. Um, so the veterinarian suggested that we switch over to Kirkland, um, because we're on Victor Professional right now, and, like, it's great, but I don't... He genuinely doesn't like it. Like, he genuinely is not... Like, he doesn't like it. So, 
corner and see if there's something else. Um, we tried the Purina Pro Plan, whatever, the gastrointestinal, like, safe diet. Um, and, like, the canned stuff. He did not like it. Um, but maybe I'll feed it for the next few days just so that he stops having diarrhea. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to I'll give him, like, part of a can for dinner. We'll see. Okay, so, yeah, we will, we're gonna go fly a kite now. Um, we're driving home. What do you think of that? That sounds, that sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good. All right. Peace. So, we're out here in the wind, and we're flying kites. Yeah. That's the octopus kite. Look at it. It's just like fishing. Shit, it is. <laughs> it's just like fishing. Yeah. Please don't run into me, please don't run into me. <laughs> Every time he runs at me, that's like the only thing I'm thinking. Stop eating grass! Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. can, can you not? Can you not tell? No. I... <laughs> as the tent, as the string is coming through the tentacles. No, I don't. I don't. I still don't. Still don't believe you. Oh no. Oh no, Cthulhu. Oh Jesus. Arlo. Hi. Oh no, Cthulhu is really high up in the sky. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look how tiny it is. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Oh shit. Whoa. Whoa. Like I could, no, never mind. I was going to say I could reach up and touch it, but. No, you absolutely could not. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he was coming in way too close. Oh my God. Okay, call him. Arlo. Go! Go! Arlo. Go! I just keep Okay. Praying. So So we flew kites for a while. One kite, singular kite. Singular kite. Singular kite. We Multiple flew people flew a singular kite. Cthulhu, yeah. We, we flew Arlo Arlo didn't want to fly the kite today. I don't know why. Uh, we tried just, to get him to hold the handle. He wouldn't. Um, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. So um, we decided, well, I decided, <laughs> I decided and I forced you, that we were going to go get, um, milkshakes and slushies, um, and then, and then dog park. Yeah, dog park. And then
then dog park. So we're gonna go get the stuff to do that and do that. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so change in plans. We're going to go to Animar to see if I can get like a supplement or something to stop his diarrhea because he was having rice this morning because it was, it, normally it helps, but the diarrhea hasn't stopped since then. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go to Animart to see if there's, like, something there that can help. I'm looking for my keys. Um, and if there isn't, then I'll probably take him to the vet at some point on one of my days off these upcoming days. It's really cold outside. Well, it's not that cold. But it's it's like kind of kind of cold. So, yeah, I will keep you guys updated on if we find anything. Um, yeah. Okay, sideways. Your face is sideways. I'm a YouTuber. Right. We're, okay. we're, we're, we're rolling. Alright, so... We're gonna see, cause I want to get him a Benabone, cause the thing is, is if you guys don't know, he seems to not be interested in a lot of the chews that I've gotten him before, like the Nyla Bone stuff like that. So, um, I'm gonna decide if he wants the peanut butter flavor, which is already open. That makes me a little nervous, but I think it's probably fine. And the chicken flavor. Yeah, which one did he want? He, he wanted the, the peanut butter one. But final decision, yep. peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay, yep. so um, we are now out of Animart. We are gonna go get shakes and, well, I'm gonna get a shake and he's gonna get a slushie. Yeah, no and milk isn't good for me. <laughs> there was, there, inside the store, there was like a few kinds of dewormers but all of them were like really expensive and so the I'm, same thing was online yeah, this, for like 15 dollars less yeah so i'm just gonna order one online um but there was there was some really cute puppies there um arlo was like obviously he's off duty right now so he was really excited he wanted to meet the puppy obviously i did not big german shepherd there's a german shepherd out there who's obviously trick training that's cute um, so he wanted to meet the puppies, but obviously, like, he can't, so when he was, like, pulling on his leash, I took him outside, and I was kind of like, all right, reset, you need time to, like, chill out for a second, and then we went back inside, and he was pretty good. Um, but there was this family who, uh, who adopted a puppy, and it was, like, I think, I, th like, I think it was a Labradoodle. Yeah, it it looked like a Labradoodle. The f we only saw it a few times. I'm really sorry about the sunlight back there. Um, we only saw it a few times. It looks like a Golden Doodle, actually, is what I was thinking. I don't know why I keep saying Labradoodle. Um, but it looked like a Golden Doodle. Um, obviously, they adopted it from the store because its sibling was still in the pen. Yep. Um... And it still, it didn't even, like, the, the information card on the dog was still there. And when you, like, if you guys don't know, when you adopt from a pet store, you're getting from a puppy mill. That's where your dog is coming from. You don't get paper. You don't, you don't get papers with the dogs that you get from, like, Animart or PetSmart or Petco. Anywhere. Um... basically just the woman who was selling this dog to them was upselling everything she was giving them a she she told them that the dog didn't shed which if you've ever had a doodle of any kind you know it sheds those dogs are not hypoallergenic they they are advertised as hypoallergenic but they're not because they have a dog that isn't hypoallergenic mixed in with a hypoallergenic poodle. Yeah, so you go straight here. Yeah, I know. 
And every dog, you know, supposedly every dog is hypoallergenic. Or supposedly no dogs are hypoallergenic. But, you know, poodles don't give off as much dander, nor do they um, shed. So, you know, I would just say that, that most dogs are, you know. So, just the lady was trying to upsell them on everything and she sold them this brush that was for de-shedding. She sold them a Furminator de-shedding brush for a dog that she said didn't shed. <laughs> so that just made me feel weird, I guess. It, it doesn't shed if you de-shed it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't shed if you de-shed it, yeah. So I don't know. The whole situation just made me upset because, like, yeah. Just get from get a dog from a shelter. Just get a dog from a shelter. Like, you know, it might not be the most fun thing. But, you know, 